Hey guys, what is up? It is Dominic, and in this video, I have a complete checkbox list of everything you should have done and should be doing in order to run your SaaS correctly. I have had way too many people ask me for a checklist, and I just never had one. I always had my course, and my course is kind of a checklist in and of itself. You should go through the course and do everything in there, but I never really had a concrete checklist what you should actually get done in order to promote, in order to scale, in order to start your Go High Level journey. So I finally did it. I created a checklist, and it looks like this. And I'm actually going to upload this video inside of my free course and I'm going to put this checklist in there as well as a file so that you can download it look at it check it off yourself or just have it around for motivation and say I need to get these things done so the first thing on the list of course is a high level subscription if you don't have a high level subscription then you can't really do anything else on the list and you definitely can't run your own SaaS company so I highly recommend getting a high level subscription and if you're new to the channel you have no idea what high level is you don't know what SaaS is maybe you saw a YouTube video maybe you saw a TikTok whatever you saw you came in here and you're still trying to learn well basically SaaS SaaS is software as a service and high level is the greatest platform on the planet that allows you to own your own software and then resell it for whatever you want 97 297 or even 497 a month and my name is Dominic Baptist I'm currently the number two affiliate in the entire world really trying to get to number one so I would appreciate if you haven't started use my link in the description below I will get you 30 days for free on high level and you will get all of my courses everything you would ever need to start you get your own website your own automations a step-by-step -step checkbox list now you get invited to two different Facebook groups one of them having over 4,000 members everyone's so helpful it's so amazing I mean there is literally no other place to get this much support and this many resources other than with my affiliate link guys so once you have your high level subscription the next thing on the list is going to be a logo and business name now of course if you have your own software company you should probably have a software name and then of course a logo to go with it picking out a logo and a name should be very simple and very easy do not waste three weeks on it like I used to every time I pick a name and I would change it two months later and it'd be a miserable experience no one cares about your name no one cares about your logo hop on Canva, click the logo template, type in software logos and pick one. And if you want even more in-depth help with this, please watch my most recent YouTube video, the one right before this one. I break down Canva and exactly how to customize your own logo, pick the right dimensions and make it look perfect for your company. The next thing on the list and one of the most important things on the list is getting a domain on Cloudflare. Now, no, you don't have to use Cloudflare. You can use GoDaddy or Google Domains or Namecheap, but Cloudflare is recommended by high level. It is the best if you want the least amount of troubles with your domain, please use Cloudflare. As you can see, I am inside of Cloudflare right now. I went down to register domains and I can type in whatever domain I want and look for the best option. So if my company was CloudChad, I could type in CloudChad right here press search and we will see if it comes up. As you can see, we have cloudchad.io, www.cloudchad.com, cloud-chad, cloudchad.org. So clearly cloudchad.com has been taken. And if I'm still super devoted to this name and I can't live without it, I can always add a word or two at the end to make it work. Cloudchad software, cloudchad solutions, cloudchad systems, and then press search. And there it is, cloudchadsystems.com for $9.15. And that is for the year very cheap domain names on Cloudflare and they work perfectly. By the way, the only reason I'm looking up Cloud Chat is because of the logo we were on earlier. I would not actually use Cloud Chat as a name. I mean, maybe it flows, maybe it seems good, but personally, I wouldn't choose it. But then again, the name doesn't matter. So make sure that you pick a name that's right for you. Do not waste too much time on it. Make sure you can find it on here with a .com. It doesn't have to be .com. There's a lot of people in the group that have .io. I've seen a lot of .nets. I've seen a ton of different domain names, but .com is always going to be the easiest, especially when you're doing subdomains, which you'll learn inside of the course. It's just ultimately better to have a nice clean .com at the end. So once you have your logo and your business name and your domain on Cloudflare, you can finally look into Stripe and an LLC or sole proprietorship. Now this isn't necessary. You do not have to have this in the beginning. I did in fact get it in the beginning. I got a sole proprietorship for my business. I did it locally. It took me one day, went into my county building, signed a couple pieces of paper, paid $30, had a sole proprietorship by the end of the day. Couldn't have been easier. And I highly recommend anyone who's going to take this seriously to do this because then it makes the next step so much easier. Because yes, you can get a Stripe account personal, but if you get a Stripe account business account, it's going to help you in the long run when you're setting everything up. And in order to get a business Business Stripe account, you need a sole proprietorship or LLC. And in my opinion, it's just cheaper and easier to do a sole proprietorship. You don't necessarily need an LLC unless you have employees. So I highly recommend looking into that, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. If you're still trying to figure out if this is for you or not, you can skip this section, get a personal Stripe account, and just go after one or two clients and see, hey, this is for me, or no, it's not. 
but the Stripe account itself is incredibly important. You do need this no matter what. If you're running SaaS Pro and you're on the 497 plan, then you have to have Stripe. You can't use PayPal. You can't use anything else. If you're running the 297 plan, then yes, you can use PayPal or you can really use anything that you want because you won't be profiting off the text and emails and Stripe won't have to do anything crazy automatic. Therefore, I've had a lot of people use PayPal, use the 297. People in different countries that don't have Stripe use PayPal. I've even had people use random payment processors that I've never even heard of before. They do not have to integrate with high level. You just need a place to get paid. You can create as many accounts as you want for free and then get paid somewhere else. It doesn't matter. But with SaaS Pro, you got to have Stripe. Next on the list is Twilio and Mailgun. I'm going to put these guys together here. First, we will talk about Twilio. This is Twilio. It is a massive international telecommunications company that allows you to create as many text message sub accounts as you could possibly imagine, which means all of your clients, including you, get a texting phone number or as many texting phone numbers as you want. This allows the software to work its magic. Everything revolves around text messaging and emailing, in my opinion. If you're running ads, if you're running automation, if you're building functioning websites, they all revolve around text messaging in some way. I think Twilio is incredibly important important. However, the reason I put possibly on there is because high level is actually changing all of this very, very soon, possibly in the next week where they are taking over our Twilio accounts for us so that we don't have to sign up ourselves. I am relentlessly hoping it comes out every single day because it's going to make my life so much easier as an affiliate leader. And it's going to make your guys's lives so much easier as SaaS owners. You will not have to deal with Twilio. You won't have to sign up. You won't have to go through all the hassles of trying to figure out phone numbers and how to figure out Twilio and how to get approved for Twilio, which by the way, I haven't said this publicly yet, but if you're trying to get approved by Twilio and you keep getting suspended or you're not getting approved, the two things that Twilio looks for when approving a customer is a business email and a privacy policy in their website. So if you guys don't have either of those, you might not get approved. A business email is really easy to get. And then the privacy policy is something that you get inside of my affiliate program or just inside of my program in general. I have a free course that leads to a snapshot that leads to your own website. And inside that website is a privacy policy. Twilio needs to know that you're using people's information correctly. That's why they're very strict on this. However, when high level takes this over, we're all good to go. We don't have to worry about it at all. So I can't wait. I'm very excited for that. But if you can't wait either, because we don't know when it's coming out, just get a Twilio plan. It's going to be really easy to transfer everything over. It's going to literally take one button. And the exact same goes for Mailgun, which is just the email version of Twilio. So this allows you to create unlimited email sub accounts and you can run email marketing for all of your clients or they can run it for themselves. That is pretty much Mailgun in a nutshell. But hopefully very soon, fingers crossed, Go High Level will be taking over Twilio on Mailgun and you'll never have to deal with them ever again. Next on the list is agency website, use my Snapchat. So what this means is I give you your own website. Here's my website and it can literally be yours. You can change the color scheme, anything that you want. You will get this entire website. You can put your logo at the top left. You can customize it any way that you want. It is a very clean website. It has everything in here that you'd ever need. You even get your own white labeled custom demo video where you cannot see me, but I explain in six minutes exactly what the software is and what you can do with it so that you can show prospects and clients. I also have a pricing page in here where you can customize this and customize any plan that you want. Basically, like I said before, it's your your website, do whatever you want with it. Just don't waste five days building one because you don't have to. Next on the list is functioning subscription plans. So if you don't know where I'm at right now, I am on the SaaS configurator, which means I'm inside of the part of the software where you can customize your own plans. What do you want your clients to pay? Do you want them to pay 97 a month, 297, 497? What do you want them to get inside of these plans? Should they have website control? Should they be able to text? Should they be able to do Google My Business tracking? What should they be able to do? What should they have? Should they have calendars, CRM, opportunities? This is all up to you. And I do discuss this in my YouTube videos on what you should offer, how you should customize the plans, what you should should price them as. So don't worry, it's all in there. However, on the checkbox list, it says functioning subscription plans, which means these better be functioning. They better be on, they better be connected to Stripe. And if you're not using Stripe, you're on the 297 plan and you don't see this page, then you need to go inside of your sub account. You need to click on payments and then you need to click on products over here at the top and you need to either import from Stripe or create a new product. And like I said, this is for 297 plans and below, or if you cannot get Stripe and you have to use PayPal or something else, you're going to create a new product. Then you're going to connect that subscription product to your website so people can purchase straight from your website. So that is what I mean by function subscription plans. They need to be functioning. They need to work. People need to be able to buy them.
And the next box on the checkbox list is functioning automations, which happens to pair very well with functioning subscription plans. Basically what I'm saying, and yes, this is taught inside of my free courses, so don't worry. I just wanna show you guys what you need to have set up in order to move on to the next steps, is that your automation needs to actually work. So if you go into workflows and we cover the professional plan sign up, so this is an automation that triggers whenever somebody purchases your professional plan. And like I said before, you can customize this any way you want. You can change the name from professional plan to premium or whatever you wanna call it. And by the way, I give you these automations too, so you don't even need to build them. You just need to make sure they're functioning and working. So for instance, this is of course active, it's of course functioning. Whenever someone submits the form on my landing page for the professional plan and they purchase it, what happens next? Well, it assigns to a user, which happens to be me, and then an internal notification happens, which sends me a text message that tells me the contact's name that just signed up for the professional plan, and I need to make sure they get onboarded. And then lastly, I send them an SMS text message that says, hey, welcome to the professional plan, and I also send them my free onboarding course so they can see exactly how they get onboarded. And if you want that white-labeled onboarding course, all you have to do is be my affiliate, and then all of your clients can easily get onboarded without you having to go through the hassle of filming all these things for them. Them, trying to teach them left and right and spending countless amount of hours on onboarding instead of actually learning the system. It's definitely something to think about, guys. And the last three on the list are more of something that you should do and learn rather than something that you need to have done. And the first is understanding the basics of site creation. So now we are in the websites tab. And as you can see, there are so many different options to choose from. I mean, there are limitless amounts of websites that you can create, you can design, you can sell, and you can push out to the public as your own SaaS company. But if you don't know how to design, you don't know how to work through these, you don't know how to edit them, even the slightest, then it's gonna be really hard for you to sell something if you can't even do it yourself. So please, please, please watch my website building videos go through them, start building your own websites just for fun. I used to do it all the time. I would build websites that I'd never sell. I would never push out to the public. I just wanted to learn and get better. And here I am a year and two months later after being on high level, I've probably built 100 to 300 websites and I could literally build any site that I want in an hour, maybe two hours tops. And I could easily turn around and sell that website for 500, 1000 bucks, 2000 bucks, really whatever I want. And it is a skill that I will take with me for a very long time. And speaking of skills, the next one is the basics of workflows, understanding how workflows work, understanding how to build automation so that you can build it for your clients. Creating workflows is extremely important. If you're gonna learn anything about high level, if you're gonna put your time and effort into anything at all, it should be building websites and building automations and learning about workflows. For instance, if I was going to start from scratch, create a new workflow, click on the add new workflow trigger, there are so many different options to choose from. If I don't know what I'm doing, I'm very confused. If I do know what I'm doing, I can literally go into any client, any prospect, say, hey, what do you want automated? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? How can I automate your life? They tell me what they want. I hop in here and I build it because I know what it can do. I know how to make it work and that will make my SaaS company that much more attractive than someone else's. The amount of things that you can actually automate inside of High Level are insane. They're almost incomprehensible, which means the more you learn, the more you understand, the better off you're gonna be because you can handle any client in any industry, any niche, and you can provide value, which we all know if you provide value, that turns into money every single time. So please learn this, understand how to build workflows, you will thank me later. And then lastly, of course, understanding how to onboard a client. Now I have multiple videos on onboarding clients. I even have a white labeled course on how to onboard your client. And yes, this is for my affiliates or if you're not my affiliate and you can't switch over under any circumstance, you can purchase this course for $100 in one of the links in the description below. However, it is still very important to understand how to onboard your clients. Now, High Level does a really good job with the Launchpad area that literally tells you all the things you should probably connect for each client. The more you integrate, the more you connect for them, the better the software is going to work. Making sure they have the mobile app, making sure their Google My Business is integrated so you can get them more reviews, making sure their Facebook page is integrated, a chat widget on their website, their Stripe account if they wanna do payments with their customers, the Yex program if they wanna boost their Google SEO, and even how to add team members so they can have their employees, their secretary, their real estate agents, whatever they are, are under the system. The more you connect in the launch pad, the more you integrate, the better the onboarding process is going to be and the better the SaaS is going to work for them. But onboarding is vital. If you think about it in long term, what's the hardest thing for you right now? If you're brand new to SaaS, you just started, you're in your first month, your first week, your first day, 
What's the hardest thing? It's figuring all this stuff out. It's trying to get good at it. After two, three months when you're really good at it, it's not hard at all. But the beginning is the deciding factor on if you stay and the beginning is the deciding factor on if your clients stay with it. Therefore, onboarding should and will be the most important thing that you learn inside of high level by far. The better you are at onboarding your clients, the longer they're going to stick. And the more you learn about automation of websites, the less you will be needed by your clients because you'll have a system that works. And when you have an automated system, you save a ton of time and you make a lot of money. Trust me, I know I automate a lot of my businesses. It's probably the only reason they survive. So with that being said, that is the entire checkbox list. If you go through all of that, you should be okay. You should be on the right path. You should be ready to go prospect and scale your company. And I do believe that anyone can get through that list in a week. I've had people get through that list in a day, but everyone learns at their own pace. And I really hope that you have something now concrete that you can look at and check mark every single day or every week or every month until you're ready to prospect go get clients and scale your company. But with that being said, if you're not my affiliate, please check that link in the description below. Get started today. You can get 30 free days with me. You'll get all of my courses. Make sure to reach out to me on Facebook in the YouTube comment section using the chat widget on the landing page. I respond to everything personally. I will get in touch with you if you're my affiliate. I can guarantee you that. And also, if you've watched my videos before and you're wondering, hey, Dom, where's your logo? Why is everything white labeled again like in the videos? That is because, yes, the secret is out. I am working on more white labeled videos. It's been a while since I've made any, so definitely stay tuned for that. You can also join our Facebook group. That link will be in the description below as well. And you can also check out the link for my one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings, my one-on-one -on -one onboarding, where I will literally onboard your entire account for you on Zoom. And I'll go through that entire checkbox list myself because I have a lot of experience and I can knock it out in an hour, maybe two hours tops. And you can also use that time to ask me any questions. We can go back and forth, talk about your vision, what you think is best for you. And I can give you my experiences and help you out with that as well. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and toss a like on this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.